Welcome everyone to another episode of OmniSense Daily Tip Series, where in roughly three minutes or less each day, we'll give you actionable tips and ways to improve your email and SMS marketing program and make you better marketers. Now, yesterday we talked all about traditional welcome series best practices and how the lack of focus on customer intent may be limiting your sales potential. Today, we're going to talk about optimizing your messages by catering to that intent. To turn a new subscriber into a customer, you need to understand not only their intent, but what matters to them at this stage. After all, they're most likely new to your brand. In your welcome messaging, communicate reasons they should feel comfortable buying from you. These might include things like friendly return policies, satisfaction guarantees, price and speed of shipping, product quality or fit, and maybe even brand ethos, if it is truly a brand differentiator. Now, these can be communicated in your email header, in the body of the email, in your hero image, in a recovery banner, or really wherever. You get the idea. It doesn't matter where you put them as long as they're visible to the new subscriber. Now, take a moment when you're finished with today's tip and write down your brand's value as a competitive differentiator. Now that you know which value adds to reinforce in your messaging, it's time to build your messages. For message one, it's not an email introduction, but also a step in their purchase journey. Welcome the new subscriber. If you offer an incentive, provide it here. Use nice imagery that reinforces your brand. Highlight some of your products or categories. And most importantly, remember that the goal is to generate a sale, so be sure to include a call to action. Now, promoting this value-add driven content should be the guiding light for your entire welcome series. The trick is to not overthink your messages and help your subscriber make a purchase decision. By referring your welcome series approach from a, let me tell you about me, to uh, this is why it's a great decision to be our customer, you can increase your welcome series revenue. So your homework today is to write down your company value adds and competitive differentiators and include them in your messages. Remember, these can be promoted in all emails, not just your welcome series. Now, tomorrow I'll be discussing how to build out the remainder of your welcome series with intent-driven content you probably already have lying around, but just aren't using to its potential. So thanks for tuning into this episode of the Marketing Tips Series. Feel free to let me know if you have any questions. And until next time, happy marketing.